more stuff has arrived so I spent a whole bunch of time unpacking stuff but I'll get you guys a rundown here so I ordered um, some water absorbent pads to use for the oxalic acid and I ordered I've got uh, 50 pounds of oxalic acid and I've got five gallons of glycerin so I did a little shopping online and found some pretty good prices probably somebody could work it a little more and find better prices and I thought I'd show you where I spent here so I got the oxalic acid a five gallon jug of oxalic acid for uh, 137.25 with no shipping and that who did that come from um, Florida Labs I think that was Florida Labs and then I've got another one where I got the glycerin from and I'm not seeing where who shipped it I'll, I can get that information for you and put it in the description um, but I got the glycerin it was $100 $50, $26 shipping for $176. And then New Pig had the uh, absorbent pads. And they were $147 by the time I was done. So we've got $147, uh, $176, and $137 to get supplies. The water absorbent pads are these. They're 60% recycled cellulose foam stuff and I'm gonna cut them into strips like these and probably leave two attached and fold it up and you can rip them apart it was part of the problem installing the others was the uh, getting them apart so that you could you know put them in the hive you got gloves on you're messing around they're all stuck together so I'm gonna get them separated a little better where they're easier to do but I believe I can get a thousand of them out of this in a thousand strips and there's the jug of glycerin so I'm gonna get it set up in the cooker start cooking it and start cutting strips and getting them ready and we'll see what we get done I won't make you guys watch me do it you've watched me do it before so anyhow here's today's project all right guys it's the next day it's been pouring down rain I'm feeling for you John in the middle of our blackberry flow it's supposed to rain for the next week to be the end of that anyway it's shop time <coughs> so the i cooked the oxalic acid in uh, in my barrel uh yesterday i figured out my plan on these sheets that i used i made them about an inch and three quarters cross which got me 11 of them out of here so i just took my storyboard stick and I'm mark them across and then I could cut about three at a time with a good sharp utility knife and just got them close you know, don't worry about them being perfectly straight uh, especially on the first round here so I was I'd stack three of them up cut through them it racks them up pretty darn quick then use some of these old nuke boxes that I've got and for you all of you that keep saying why do you keep dragging home all that junk and garbage and you get it piled around it looks like I guess that isn't you guys that's my wife sorry um, <laughs> it came in handy here these old nuke boxes I put a contractor trash bag in them and was able to stack them up quite deep and then poured the, the juice to them so now I'm gonna go ahead and dump them out and see if I can get them separated and set up so that they're easy to apply because once you're out there in your you know bee suit and all your stuff and you're trying to get them on a colony while it's open and you've already been through it and you're trying to work fumbling around not being able to get them uh, apart is not what you want to be doing so hopefully they'll come out of here Starting to. So the oxalic acid sets up in there 
um, and gets hard. Not super hard, but hard enough it doesn't want to just roll right out of there, obviously. But it's coming. Take a little pulling and prying. There we go. So we'll see how they look. And there's going to be some extra juice in here. Probably not lots because they absorbed a lot of it. But there'll be some extra and it'll go back into the next round. So you can see how this stuff reforms. And it's just barely solid. As soon as it gets wet, as soon as I touch it with my fingers, um, it, it goes back into a liquid. And that's what, I believe, what works in the colony. They warm that up. You know, they're keeping the hive at 95 or so. And so it keeps wicking it up as they walk across it. They're picking up little traces of it. Um, I don't know if it also goes into the air and has any effect or exactly how it works. But here we go. I got a lot of these. I'm going to try to set up here and figure out how to layer them in some cellophane. Um, and I'll get you a shot of that when I get something figured out that works. <clears throat> so, these sheets came with a perforated spot in the middle where they'll tear uh, really easily to separate. So I'm just going to leave the two together. Um, and I've got a system going here. This is an acid. It's a pretty mild acid. I can usually handle it with just my fingers and not have a problem. I haven't had one yet. But it is an acid. I'm going to be handling a lot of them here. So I went ahead and put some gloves on. Got some baking soda in water here, which will deactivate it. If I get any somewhere I don't want it. Even if I get a glob of it on my clothes, um, I can get it on there before it eats, eats things up. Um, but again, it's not real severe acid. And I'm not a big safety preaching guy. You guys figure out what you want to do and how you want to do it. And what's safe for you and what isn't. So I'm just layering these in the sheet of cellophane and wrapping up 10 in a in a bag um, seems like a good number and then they should just unroll when uh, I want to use them some of these are still pretty warm didn't get that cool last night and the juice was pretty hot when it went in so and as soon as I've got a stack big enough, I can put one on the side of it. I'm doing that and just rolling them around. Uh, they do get stuck together pretty well when they get hard. I don't know if you guys can see, but where the camera's pointed here. Um, these things are, are stuck together pretty well. So this is what's a pain out in the field is trying to get those pulled apart like that. Um, while you're working, this should make it a lot easier. The blue coating on these is not sticking together. So as they come out of the wrapping, they'll unfold really easily and pop in half and lay the two pieces down. So I think this is gonna be a, a pretty good system here. You just cut it off, wrap them up, twist the ends and there's 10 doubles, so 20 strips in each one of those. Um, I don't know, it seems like it'll be a good system. It's a good rainy day to do this, so we'll continue on. So, I ended up with 400 double strips, so that would be 800. I was hoping to get 1,000. And I believe I probably could. I, some of these have way more than they need on them. Um, I'm sure they're just they're really heavy, really saturated. Um, they're really absorbent pads. So I, I don't know that it will do any more good to have that much on it. But still, this was a pretty quick to make quite a lot of them here. I've spent, you know, a couple hours getting them wrapped up and done. So the... The... Uh, Baking soda water is a good thing to have on hand. Um, this acid will burn you if it gets on more tender skin. 
as I found out. No, John, I got it on my forearms. Anyway, um, but you can take your tools and put them in there when you're done. And it will deactivate the acid. So like the knife I was using to cut the cellophane, it's got uh, acid all over in it. So I'm get this down in here and get it rinsed off where it eats through my knife. Um, it's an easy way to see, you know, where you did get it spread to. Like I said, I got some on my arms and then realized it was getting on my shirt and uh, was able to put a little bit on there to keep from maybe eating a hole in my good Christmas sweatshirt. Um, not that it's all that nice anymore, but, and the chuck it handle. So as I've been stepping out to throw the ball for the dogs, I get the acid off it. So when my wife grabs a hold of it, she doesn't get all burnt. And I've got it all over the bench too. Wouldn't be a bad idea to wipe the bench down with it. I don't know, you know, how much it's going to eat up the bench or, you know, what damage it would actually do to my knife or anything else. You say I can handle it with my hands and not, um, you know, my fingertips where I'm, my hands are pretty tough and I've never had a problem with it. But uh, it is an acid and eventually it's going to do damage. So you guys take safety precautions as you see fit. But this created uh, quite a pile of these. Um, I've got a few hives still that don't have them on them. And I wanted to have some on hand. Um, I may even sell a few of these to people that only have a colony or two and don't want to make their own batch. Um, so anyway, that's a pretty darn quick way to do it. And I think they'll go on the colonies fast. So if this works like we're all hoping that it will... This could be a really good solution. Um, not all that expensive, and it's gotten faster than the vaporizing or the drench. Um, so we'll see how it works as we get along.